Hey, it's backgammon time. Just going through this seven point. I had a speed match uh, game just now. And let's see where I made mistakes. Uh, okay, five, three to start. Six, one. This is uh, pretty standard. I'll try to stop only on the interesting things. Uh, okay, we're hitting on their side of the board. They're escaping. Here was a decision. I could have made the 20. And so here's the other option. This would have been slightly worse because you're stacking the six. Um, they only have seven checkers here. So it's not really that vital that I get this anchor right now. Um, even though I'm up in the race, this was the better play. Just hit them. See what happens here. They anchor up. I anchor up on this roll. This was another decision. I could have made the five point left the six shot, um, but this was slightly better. But both of those plays are not a huge deal. Six one at this point, you're you're looking at burying a checker to keep your anchor or just going for it. So like I said before, there's only seven checkers here. Um, we might as well go for it. Look what look at the race. We're 25 pips up. We better we got a chance to go now. Even if they hit us, we can still escape again. And now here, my first blunder, I come out instead of doing this. Hmm. Why, why, why? So this gives more shots. Um, I was thinking up in the race, just try to go for it. More shots. Hmm. This would have even been better if just hitting it, staying back. I guess because if we are, if we don't jump over this blot then we can hit the blot um so it makes it more uh sketchy for red to lose even for go back even further in the race but that's a tricky one so just this is what we should have done up in the race don't want to risk anything okay getting some double threes so this was there's two good double threes moves here what would you have to do so i could have left the blot on the seven and just make double points there which is interesting because that gives a two. I guess they wouldn't want to leave and hit loose there with so many return shots if I have a three point board, but with zero point board, not a big deal. Um, I ended up doing this, just running one and just not making the four. Okay, coming in here, five, two, Let's see. Okay, so now we're at this point where we just got to swipe ahead. We just got to get this guy out of here. Um, he should be doubling. He doesn't. Because look, any six, he could hit me loose here. Would you hit loose? You should hit loose because he's got four points. I got three and a half and a blot. So definitely, um, let's just look at the winning. So it's 69%, 20% gammons. So that was enough for a double. Here we go. So now I've got double six. It's just destroyed me. And it's a double pass here. Too good to double pass. D too good to double. Okay, let's go to game two. Game two. Okay, double sixes coming out. Double twos. Okay, double fives. I run from the back. Okay. Nothing is that amazing here. Okay, we'll just try. Now this is looking like a holding game, right? So check the race. I'm 20 pips behind, but I've got some good contact here. This was a s error, 30 error. I should have done this, made the whole thing. Don't be scared. He's not going to hit you. Make that five point board. That's way better than this four and a half point board. Um, he's not going to hit me because look at all this. Unless I guess if he gets a one, two, then he's going to clean up. But um much better to make the efficient board there that he'll really get scared of. Uh, double ones. He makes a blunder here. Okay, double two. So here I had to move forward. I didn't want to move all the way. Um, anything where you're moving at 11 to 7. or I mean, th you can't touch the 13 here. You just have to come up a bit do that you d and this was a this was a blunder um, just because you don't have any prime value if he comes in there but here at least uh, if he comes on the three you can block him a bit and you're blocking him from the nine I don't know I just 
just made that play. This was the wrong one. I should have just done one. Because, look, he's got no... I'm not worried about getting hit at all. Um, I don't know why that's not as good. It's a tricky one, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. I've got other problems in my game. Here we go. So now I should have doubled. Okay, this is a double pass. So I was I didn't double because I'm like, if I don't hit, it's a clear. Uh, if I don't hit, I'm going to lose the game. Um, but here I have 75%. So look, I can hit with all ones and all sixes. And if I hit, I'm almost guaranteed the game. But I didn't. I hit him, though. Um, and then what happens here? Here I, I... I had to leave a shot, right? So um, this was a bad roll for me. And this is an error. What I did was I moved, my, moved the block to the six point. I should have just brought this guy down, make the seven, so at least there's less like hit and escape. Um, but instead, I just cleared up that one and tried to leave it so I could hit this one. But that's the wrong idea here. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to lose this game, right? So now it's uh, still s almost 70% for me. Is that true? No, no, 70% for them now. They double, and this is a take. Uh, so he's only got 69, seven, 68%. There's no gammons, really, because um, even if he sends both of my guys back, they're going to have freedom. And I think, you know, it's not a given that I don't hit him. Uh, he can't come home safely, but it was a good double. He doubled at the right time. He's trying to jump over me, kill double eight, double fours is a bit unlucky. So here I was right to stay back um, and shoot it all the way to the end. And then he makes that point. Now I did something stupid. Whoa, that's a huge error. I should have just run. Should have just run, and then I would have had a 42% chance of winning that race. I thought it was way worse, but it would have only been a 10. I would only have been a 10 pip dog there. But instead, this guy just drops me down to 22%. Just by destroying my con my contact value by killing my board. I thought maybe I could. I thought it was maybe vital that I had to hit, but I guess 10 pips in a race is just like one big double. So that was 40%. I should have just done that instead. Anyway, so I lost this one. Oh, well, let's keep going. Down 3 nothing now. Double sixes is a great way to start. And then this was a great way to start. And then that's enough for a double pass. Um... I thought this might have been a take because I don't really have a lot going on, but uh, three nothing, it's a pass. Um, just after you have double sixes, if he wasn't split there, like, was this a double? Was this a double here? No, but it's close, right? Uh, you don't have a lot, you don't have any points, but this clearly was. Be on alert for doubling after a double six. Okay. Here we go. You always, you almost always want to hit the hit loose on the four and the five here, instead of splitting. You don't want them to have that anchor, and uh, it's just the beginning of the game. You kind of battle it out. Okay, this was right. I wasn't sure if we should have made the twenty-one and come down with one, but I guess making the five is better. It doesn't leave anything. This is these are other options. Whoa, spreading out and leaving the blot there. That would be four blots, and that's only a fifty-two error. But anything like hitting is bad. Anything where you're, this is bad, you know. So, okay, I got, at least I got one right. This was wrong. Don't make the two point. What? You just got to bring down a guy? What's wrong with the two point? I guess I don't have any spares if I do this. I don't have any potential to hit this four. I really want to hit him. Uh, but this is why you don't blitz when you don't have a lot of checkers. I only got eight checkers here. But making the two is wrong. It's a crime. Let's see what else is up. Okay. 6-2. Uh, this was right. Um, I could have come down with the 5 or just run, but all those are blunders. This gives me uh, gets me off of the 24 and just stick a guy there. Here comes another blunder. Okay. I should have made that 18. Damn. Okay. So making this 18 was good because you're going to block these 12s, and it's only a two-point board here, so... There's still a chance that we just escape. Um, I mean, we're we're behind in the race, so do we really care about escaping? 
That's why I thought maybe we should stay back. But making that 18 is better. It's actually, it, I know it's forward, but it's great contact value for the twin for the 12. So I, I'm struggling with when to move up to that 18 and when to stay back. Okay, another blunder. What the heck here? Three, one, I should have just hit. It would have been a four point board. But they hit. This is another thing. Look, they got a five prime here. They got, they're threatening to make another one to make the full prime, which is going to be lights out. So normally I don't want to hit when I am behind a prime, but this is an exception because I'm desperate. I'm so desperate. The only, like, what's the winning chances here? Uh, my winning chances only is 36. And if I do this, it's 37. Cause basically how are you going to win? I like, how am I going to win this game? You hit this, he dances, we hit there. And then we try to, uh, you know, keep him on the the roof while we come around and hopefully get another six before he can come in. That is our best chance at this point. We can't really prime his prime because his he's too strong. His, his priming is too strong. So um, he's got a full prime there. I make my prime here. See how it, it would have been a big mistake to hit this. Look how big these errors are. Huge. When you're behind a prime, you the only way out of it is for him to crunch. Uh, we can't, we can't just hit and then, cause let's say we hit and he keeps dancing and then we close him out. We're still not getting these guys home until we crunch. And if we crunch, we lose crunching equals losing. Um, it's like one of the things to think about if you're, if you're starting, if you crunch and that's when all your guys get shoved up against the one cause you have no freedom. So uh, we didn't hit there. That was correct. Uh, he comes down. Let's see if he crunches double fives. This is not what we want. He should be doubling here, um, but he doesn't. And then once he gets his, his freedom, I know I have no chance or very little chance. And he doubles and it's a pass. It's only 77% though. Um, it's not like the automatic because it should be very easy for him to come in and not leave a shot. But just w even with this perfect structure almost, it's still, I still have 22%. So it can happen. Not today though, because I dropped. And it was the right to drop. Okay, 4-2. I'm hitting on his side of the board instead of making the 4. Hitting on the other side of the board is great. Do it. It's going to shoot him back all the way to uh, it's 20 pips difference. Then he dances double 6. Now, is this a double? No. I don't have any. Even though I thought about it, though. It is a double. Okay, very small double. I'm like, can I really double with only one uh, point here? Uh, but I'm down in the score 1-4. Uh, so I hit there, he comes in, and now this is a double take. Now I'm sure this was a double because I'm like blot, 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 blot. Got so many good numbers, and I know he wants to drop because of the score. He doesn't want to get into a gammon -y. Um See, I've got 23% gammons here, and you know if you double, that's, a, that's worth four points. That's exactly what uh, you're looking for, and that's what the leader is looking not to get into those type of games. So he drops even though I should have taken anyway, because it's only one point, only one point here. There's still a lot of, even if he gets hit, even if he gets pointed on, it's not like the game's over. He's still going to make an anchor. He's still going to do some things. So that was wrong. Uh, six, two hit on their side. That's good. He makes the, okay. Nothing really else to do here. Double threes at me. Okay, double once. What should I have done here? So here I made the five and I switched from eight to seven, left the blot here because I wanted the extra prime value for the one, but that was wrong a little bit. I should have just played it safer and done that. Okay, because I guess he's got a three point board. I don't want to mess around too much. It's a close race. Close race, be careful. Okay, that's nice for him. Now he's got a nice prime. I need to do this. I'm just trying to keep up. Okay, so what happens here? Oh, the god roll. That is just the luckiest roll. Look at this. If I, you know, super good roll. Like before it, he is, I've got 55% wins right here. And here, 72%. So that was what I needed. And then I doubled because I got freedom. I've doubled because I've got freedom. And it's pretty like it's conceivable that I can come down without leaving a shot. It's only like, and then he's got two points here, but um, if I think he will crunch 
or he'll have to run with one of these guys and I will be able to hit it. Um, I kind of like, you, you kind of get a feel for for how, how this is going to play out. So it was a double pass, which was good. I made lots of blunders, but not that one. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh boy, okay, double fives in my face. Five two, let's see this double take. Oh, I was thinking about this. So it's a double take here. Um, he's got the one and two point. So look, I've got 34%. He's got a lot of gamins, but I've got a lot of wins. Um, so that's why I took this and that was correct. It was a double take. Just think about that. Okay, so then he hits me. Okay, then I got double fives. So I came in with two. I could have, what could I have done? I could have done a bunch of stuff, like make this, leaving the blot there. But no, just hit the one. Just make the one. You don't really want the one, but it it he could dance. You could get lucky. Get another one. It's a, uh, we've got this anchor, so we kind of, we, we're not that worried. We're not going to get gammoned. But here, this isn't going well. Our contact value kind of sucks. Look at this. We don't have a lot of ammunition here. All our guys are on this five point. So we're just going to build our board, hope for a shot. He's going to have an easy time going over us. we got to get these guys home. Double threes. This was the right thing to do. Okay, making that four point. Uh, I mean, you don't really care about the 10 here. Once once the stuff's, uh, once they've escaped, we don't really care about the outfield. We only care about making points. We want that to be good for the next hit. We're just like getting ready for the next hit. This was a small error. Would have been better to just do this. Okay, sure. Not a huge deal. Um, this is another, this is a pretty big error. What was the problem here? I should have just run. Oh yeah. So yeah, I was thinking about this. This would have been better because after this, we don't have any more ammunition. We're going to have to take down from the 13 or leave this guy, uh, risk leaving him in the outfield when they've got a better board because he might build another point by then. So I should have taken this time to cleanly get out here, make sure I have enough, make sure the mobility stays, uh, sticks around. This one I run. Well, like one roll later, it's wrong. Let's see. I should have just got more contact here. Just go for it. We've got the five point. We're not really going to get gammoned. Um, so should have just gone for more contact here. But that's funny. It's the wrong play here. It's the right play here. Well, I guess the difference here is we can make the, we can make that um, our three point. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Now he clears that point. So now he's like, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to maybe leave us a shot. If we come down with the number double threes, he should have gone for it at this stage. See, I've got two two blots on my home board. That's the time you got to just go for it. Uh, but instead, he plays it safe, which, which this is paying later. He should have paid now, which is, you know, when do you want to take the risk? You're going to have to take the risk sometime. Not every game, but this game for sure. Double sixes, I should have run with one each. Oh, you know, I was running out of time um, because the thing wasn't loading for me. Okay, so I'm coming down here. That's way better. It's way better. This has ended up being a massive blunder. Whoa, holy moly. No wonder my PR was 10 in this one. Leaving the single goalkeeper, making the five-point board, and leaving the goalkeeper here. The one duplicates the ones because he wants to make that. Or I guess it doesn't matter, but huge blunder. Embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I don't care. Uh, okay, double fours. I don't really have a choice here. Here's a blunder. Should have just left that with one. I, I need to stop thinking that I need to keep my points for the contact value. When they have a bad board, one is often enough. I don't need to leave both of them there especially if the, the alternative is destroying my board. Um, yeah, because I'm down in the zone, down in the race. I need to have a board. I need him to dance. I need to hit him and he needs to dance. Okay, so double fours. Nobody can move. He comes down here. I hit him with the one. Okay, come in. It would have been better to do that a little bit. Here should have been a double. Okay, let's look at this cube. Cube, 50%. But I'm still redoubling because let's 
wow, no one's getting a gamut 50% redouble take just because it's, if I do hit, uh, my chances will go way up. This is a volatile thing. This is weird, eh? 52% and it's correct to redouble. Um, I wasn't even sure if I was ahead here. I mean, if you're behind, and it's very close that I wasn't. You know, like if this isn't a direct shot, maybe it's not a double. Maybe, I don't know. That's a tricky one because I guess I could hit, you know, still no doubles, still no gammons. But yeah, wow. And that was a uh, hundred blunder. Okay. So what happened? I ended up, did I actually hit him? Yeah, I hit him and I played the checkers wrong. I should have just hit and moved out, but I hit and... I should have not hit. I should have not hit because that doesn't give a... This is just the racing play. So here, after this, I leave a shot at my three. But I should have just not hit at all. Just jumped over him. Okay, because he hits me. He cleans up and then I'm on the roof. This is kind of a hyper gammon situation. So here, I didn't know what to do because I you kind of I want to spread out right because I'm behind in the race you want to spread out you want to leave indirect shots not direct shots so I could have come in like on the four or five and moved this one I can't move the four or five from here um, but that would have been a direct shot would have just made it much easier for him to get home so this was correct even though I was stacking him up five two I hit him okay he comes out I hit him again he comes in Here's another double. There's another blunder double. So I should have redouble take 54% this time. Even worse error. Even worse blunder. Any three I'm going to hit them. And I'm going to hit and pick and pass. Um, it's just so volatile. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So something for me to learn here. And I moved wrong too. I moved. This was my move. I hopped over him. I should have just tidied up. One less thing to worry about. This would have been, oh, this would have been the other thing. Why was this so bad? It's so bad because I'm moving up 15. So this, I moved from 9 away to 8 away. 8 away has a lot more shots than 9. Not a lot more, but I think that's the driving factor here. Okay, and then he gets the double 6, which is game over. And he wins that one. Okay, now we go to Crawford, which, spoiler alert, we do not win Crawford. 6-2. Okay, you're getting smashed on. Okay, so I'm hitting on their side. It's just a hit fest here. I don't want to go 11-6. to six. I just come down here. This is not a great position for me. Coming in. Yeah, I'm not going to destroy my 15. This is ugly, ugly, ugly. Here's a mistake. What? I don't want to make my four point. It's more important to get off of this. Okay. Because I guess how are we going to win this game? They've got this awesome structure. We need two anchors. Um, we need two anchors. This four point we want, but like a one point board compared to a two point board is not a big difference. Um, it wasn't the biggest error. You know, I make bigger errors. What was it? 25. Okay. Here we go. This was another problem. I should have just slotted. I got to stay pure behind this prime. I don't want that one point. Now I'm trying to prime him back. He's got a perfect prime here. Now I'm slotting. That's correct. But he gets double fours and he escapes, which is amazing. We're pretty much screwed. We've got three in the back, which means we're going to have to crunch. Slot my two point. Okay. So I think we all know how this is going to go. I just try not to crunch, but I have to crunch anyway. And eventually, this was an error. Okay, I should have just run with one. Again, this is what I've been making the mistake so many times. One is better. One is good enough. Um, why is it? Why do we want to run there? Why can't we just do this? I guess we want to have the hopes of making that six point. But now we're running because we have to. Here, actually hit. Um, so when he's on the bar, what are our chances now? 31%. And look at this. Isn't this a heartbreaker? He uh, 
comes in with the six one. Come on now. The ninety now he's ninety three percent. But after this play, I was thirty percent. So he kills me there. And once they break contact with this type of lead, you just resign. And I played poorly, but I was very unlucky. So I got to remember to uh, leave. You don't have to have a full when you're when you're thinking about contact value, and they they don't have a board. You can and you're not at risk of getting closed out. You can leave one checker. Sometimes it's as good as having two checkers. Um, just y you know. You got to look at, I got to think about it. Am I destroying some property on my board that's making my contact value less because I'm keeping a, an anchor together on their half? Anyway, thanks for watching.